I'm here in London's South Bank by the River Thames where for the last few days we've been listening to the Thames. It's been a uh, science arts installation that is looking at the underwater sound from the river. Uh, it's been a fantastic experience. We've had an installation set up for uh, three days with two hydrophones, which are underwater microphones, submerged 15 feet uh, down into the river itself. Uh, we were very fortunate to be able to use the HMS Belfast, a famous World War II uh, ship from the British Navy. Uh, they allowed us to use a couple of the portholes to hang out our hydrophones and have a stereo hydrophone feed from the river. In a river like this, which can be very murky, species are extremely hard to detect. So what we do, we put a hydrophone in and we listen to the sounds that these species produce. Australian fish often make little noises like wink, 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 wink. Um, bugs, little water bugs can make chirpy noises. So without seeing them, we know whether they're there and how many are there. So listening to the Thames is um, a really exciting project for me because as an artist it's one of the first times that I've been able to start a collaboration like this with um, a very dynamic team um, including you know the wonderful researchers at the Australian Rivers Institute with Griffith University. So although I've done a number of projects that certainly have a, a similar intention to this project they've all been very focused on the creative responses and so the exciting thing about this project is to really look at that art science nexus, to look at the scientific value of actually listening to a river as a tool for analysing river health and biodiversity, but also the exciting possibilities that we have in creatively responding to the river as well. So we've had the live sound from beneath the Thames streaming to the internet for the last four days. It's been very interesting to hear the diversity of sounds that are actually going on down there. Uh, naturally, there's a lot of noise from the uh, multitude of boats uh, travelling up and down the stream. Of course, that changes by time of day. There are busier times of day and quieter times of day. But we've heard lots of other sounds as well. Uh, we we're particularly excited to hear some sounds that we're fairly sure were fish and there was a great deal of the crackling and popping of shrimp um, beneath the surface. And in fact, when we pulled out our hydrophone from the water, it was crusted with a layer of uh, snapping shrimp, uh, very, very small ones, but um, quite a lot of life down there uh, nonetheless.